Today's video is brought to us by Gunspot. Gunspot is an online marketplace where you can bid on all kinds of 2A tools, accessories, and more. They were dealers and individuals from all over the country, and not only do you get great pricing, but you never have to pay out-of-state sales tax. Sellers don't have to worry because the costs are clearly defined, and their website also has a cool battle station where you can keep all of your auctions and bidding all in one convenient spot. Thanks to Gunspot for being a friend of the channel and to learn more, check out gunspot.youknowwhat. Hey everybody, welcome back. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. I am Jared, your host, and this is Guns and Gadgets where you're gonna get Second Amendment news on a daily basis, several times a day. So subscribe to the channel and uh, toggle your notifications to all notifications and check back frequently in case the algorithm does the thing. Uh, one quick thing of housekeeping here before we get into this lawsuit. Uh, the challenge coins that I told you all about that I received last week, there was a very, very strong uh, response and people looking to obtain some. So the person who created it is going to offer them for sale. So if you want one of the challenge coins, link will be in the description and in the pinned comment. And uh, this is going to be cool. I'd like to see, you know, take pictures of them, hashtag, tag me on the Instagram and things, and uh, we'll, we'll see... How, how far reaching this can get. I look forward to seeing these out in public. Um, let's get into a case that I updated you on last week, and that's the uh, Miller v. Bonta case, and that's the assault weapon ban case in California. Real quick, in case you didn't see that first video, which I'll link above, uh, but the Supreme Court, after the Bruin decision, New York State Rifle and Pistol Association versus Bruin, uh, they had some other cases that were on hold pending that outcome. And one of those was the assault weapon ban case out of California, as well as the assault weapon ban case out of uh, Maryland. Uh, and so the, they GVR, they, the Supreme Court GVR those cases. They granted certiorari, mean certiorari, meaning we're going to take these cases up. Then they vacated those decisions, shredded them, and they remanded them, sent them back to uh, appellate courts to be reconsidered off of Bruin. And in Bruin, it is the text of the Second Amendment, as well as the history and tradition of the country around the time the Second Amendment was adopted, way back then. So, good news for us, the pro 2A people, the gun owners, it's gonna take a little time, but it's starting to trickle down. I told you last week that on August 1st, that the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals vacated the original order by Judge Roger T. Benitez in the San Diego uh, Federal District Court and they punted it back to him because that's the only way they're gonna delay the inevitable is just to make it take longer uh, because there's no way that they can uh, win this case. A, because the Ninth Circuit, they ruled on the two-step process and Clarence Thomas said that that two-step process goes one step too far. Text and history and tradition is, is the only test acceptable. Uh, so California's screwed on this one because that's the, the test they did in, in the uh, circuit courts and then Roger T. Benitez, we covered that way back when he did this case, that all of the history and tradition that California submitted, according to Judge Benitez, they, it didn't even measure up. It, it wasn't even close to proving that people back in the founding of the Second Amendment needed to have gun bans, etc. So uh, it was punted back to Roger T. Benitez on August 1st. On August 2nd, he already had uh, an order ready, meaning he was ready to take this case up immediately. He waited until Monday, this past Monday, August 8th, to actually issue the order. But here is, first let's go to the first order on August 1st from the Ninth Circuit kicking it back. Now this is the order vacating the original opinion and remanding the case back to Judge Benitez. And the judges making this decision to kick it back were Silverman, Wynn, and R. Nelson. And it says, Appellate's motion to vacate the judgment challenged in this appeal and to remand for further proceedings is granted. The district court's June 4th, 2021 order and judgment are vacated. That was the original order of Roger T. Benitez, the judge in the uh, San Diego district. This case is remanded to the district court for further proceedings consistent with the United States Supreme Court's decision in New York State Rifle and Pistol Association v. Bruin. All other pending motions are denied as moot, vacated, and remanded. That opened the door for Roger T. Benitez, who's already ruled that the assault weapon ban is unconstitutional, uh, based off of historical <laughs> issues, uh, it opened the door for him to just do it right again. When he acted immediately, uh, telling all the parties that supplemental briefs are due in 20 days. In fact, here's his order. Pursuant to the decision of the Court of Appeals vacating and remanding the case to this court, 
Both parties are ordered to file briefs addressing New York State Rifle and Pistol Association versus Bruin and to do so within 20 days of the date of this order. That's August 8th. So their re responses are due back to the judge no later than August 28th. And that is kind of fast tracking this case. You know, judges usually take a long period of time to just make things run forever, especially when it's an agenda item. Well, we know Roger T. Benitez is very pro 2A and he's got this going immediately. So let's stay tuned to this. If he gets everything before that date, it will move faster. And you know, I'll bring it to you here. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate each and every single one of you. Please check the channel often as YouTube usually doesn't put out all of the videos I'm doing because they, they don't want the truth out there. And I'm asking you to do me a favor, like the video, share the video, so that the videos actually get out to, in front of more like-minded folks and tell more people what's going on. Get the word out there. Uh, and I would be grateful and the movement will be much stronger as well. So we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe, because that's what it's for. It doesn't matter what kind of cockamamie BS story the other side comes up with. Text, history, and tradition. Boom.